So when you walk in, this is your view of everything. You can pretty much see, see straight through. Um, you can see the kitchen, the living room, dining room, and all that. So I really like how it's an open concept. Hi, kitty kitty. So I have this cute rug from the Christmas tree shop. It was on clearance. And then I have this black shoe, whatever it's called, hold there. This is from Target, I think it was like $7, and it says, please remove your shoes. The first thing here when you walk in on your left is the coat closet, and it's really nothing interesting. It just holds, obviously, our coats, our seasonal decor, so each bin is like a different season or holiday, so that's Easter, that's Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day, Halloween and Christmas. So since I don't have like a huge house, I don't need a bunch of decor, so that holds everything perfectly. Then I have an umbrella, a little light, so I can see better in here. Said I just kept all my like brooms, mops, Swiffer, and I did nail this to the wall. Going down, we have a little bit of a mess, not really, but. So I have my mop bucket over here. I have extra cat litter and cat food in the back. I have our garbage can, which is gross, but this is what we have to take out our garbage in um, every day for our apartment complex. And then in here is just some storage. So on the bottom, I have travel size stuff. So this is a rental property we are renting. We will be here for about another year. So we don't have a bunch of decor up. We didn't want to put too many holes in the walls. Um, I did use command hooks for some stuff, which I'll show you, but this is not our forever place or my forever place, so I didn't want to get too crazy with the decor. When you walk in on your right, this little hallway leads to my bedroom, the laundry room, the uh, bathroom, which I also share with guests, and then the kitchen is right over there. So we'll go over there in a second, but I wanna show you the rest of over here. So on your right, I bought this shelf from Target. I wanna say it was like $35. And I needed something that was like small enough to fit here, cause it might look kinda big, but it's really not. So I needed something like tall, but not long. And this fits perfectly. And I can store a lot of stuff in here. This sign, I think I got from Meyer on clearance and I used command um, like strips to hang it. And then I hung two little hooks for my keys and my brother's keys, but he doesn't use it. So it's really just for my keys. And then I just put some candy on top. Um, it looks super cute. I don't know where I got this jar from, but you can literally get a clear lid jar, whatever, anywhere. Some tissue and some hand sanitizer, and then just some random key. So in the top bin, I keep my purse. It's just easy and convenient to take my purse, put it there, take my keys off, put it there, and not have to worry about it. In this first bin, I have all of our games and by the way these bins are from target they are five dollars this bin holds um light bulbs and lint rollers i have extra cat food right there and then in this bottom one i keep all of our command products so moving right along this is the kitchen which i'll go more in depth in a little bit but i just have some spring decor right here some more spring decor. I just got these bar stools off of Facebook Marketplace and they smell kind of funky, but I really like them. So I'm gonna try and get the smell out. This bin is just donations that I need to take out to my car. Over here on the island is just where we keep our mails, coupons, um, extra like supplies. And then this is just random stuff that needs to go away. And on the opposite side of the island, we have our little dining table. I love this table, it's from Wayfair and I'll try and link everything down below that I'm talking about and if I don't mention something It's either because I don't know where it is from or it was just a hand-me-down cushion chairs It's small, but I mean that's all we really need as they're wondering where I got some of my spring decor um, I will link that video up top as well as down below in the description box because I honestly can't think of it right off the bat but these two things the placement and the uh, plate are from Hobby Lobby. I have my cat's litter box over there. The cute clock, which is also a hand-me-down from my mom. So right next to the kitchen table is this little, like, long side table, and this was also a hand-me-down from my mom. 
I just actually brought it in here and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just keep a cute little candle on top. I have to put it in this like lantern thing because I have cats and they will get into it and like burn themselves if I don't cover it up. But it has, um, it allows the smell to come out here as well as back here. So I still can smell it. It just protects my cats. Some decor I have and pictures of my family and my pets. At the bottom is where I keep the pets' food, their wet food, their dry food, and their water. I also keep some extra canned food in here. Right next to that table, I have a cat carrier, and then this cute bin from TJ Maxx, which holds most of my extra blankets. And by most, I mean I have a ton, so I'll show you guys that in a second. This is just a plug-in fireplace, which we use as for our table stand, and this was a hand-me-down from my mom. And then it just holds our TV. Hello. This cute little cat play tower. And this was a Christmas gift. And the cats actually don't use it that much, but I like how it matches our black decor. We have our walk out patio, porch, whatever. It's not very big. I just keep our bikes out there. I haven't got any furniture. I don't even know if I'm gonna get any, but we'll see. And that's me, kitty. Kelly. So the living room, I'm very happy with how it turned out. We'll go over some of the furniture. The couch is from a discount furniture store near me. The pillows are from at home, I believe. The blanket, this one over here was a gift. That one is a heated blanket. It was from Meyer. I just talked about it in my last video. This table was a hand-me-down table, so I have no idea where it's from, but it's really cool because it lifts, lifts up as like, a little table, isn't that cool? That has storage under there. Table, console, we keep our remotes, some coasters, and then I just decorated for spring. Again, if you're interested in my decor, I will link my spring decor video somewhere on the screen as well as down below in the description box. This little side table, I just keep a little cactus lamp for whatever reason. Um, all of our cords and stuff for a cable, and then this lamp was like $20 from Walmart and I really like it. Curtains are also from the Christmas tree shop. These were on clearance and I like, they're very thick so they're the darkening ones but they add some color with this turquoise and gray. Also the rug is from Wayfair, it's black with gray and we had a very bad experience with ordering this. It came very wrinkly. We had to reorder this one. They sent us another one for free. It was still kind of wrinkly as you guys can see but I wasn't about to buy another one. So I don't know, I wouldn't recommend this one, but it color coordinated with what I wanted. So I'm gonna live with it until I move out. This is the view you see walking from the living room through the little dining area, and then we will head to the kitchen. Ignore this box, it's just some donations I have to do. Okay, I think Callie's taking you guys on a tour. You're gonna show us, Callie? Okay, this is the kitchen. Right here to the left is our pantry, which I reorganized. If you guys are curious about that, I will link that video as well. I'm not gonna go into like a huge tour because I'll do a separate video of my kitchen. I don't want this video to be too long, but this is just like, where I keep a lot of the like stuff I use on a daily basis, like hand soap, dish soap, sponges. I keep my lunch box here. That's just random decor. I had eggs in there, but I put away all my Easter decor, so that's why it's empty. I have my little drying mat. I have some dishes I need to do. This cute towel, which I don't know where it's from, but it's actually kind of like Christmas, theme Christmas themed, but I thought it was cute and I wanted to switch it up, so I put this here. This is just some stuff I keep on my counters. I love this little thing. I think it's so cute. I got it at Meijer. It was literally on clearance for like $7. And then I got these rainbow, uh, what are these called? Whisks from my mom for Christmas. And so I love how it adds like color to it. Over to the right next to the refrigerator is another so-called pantry, but we kind of turned it into like our baking station, extra supplies, and then the trash can. 
I have this sign right at the beginning of my kitchen. You is kind, you is smart, you is important. And this is a quote from The Help, which I love that movie. So yeah guys, if you want a more in-depth kitchen tour, let me know and I will definitely film one, but I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm not gonna go in like the cabinets and stuff. And this rug is from the Christmas tree shop. It's actually like a Christmassy rug, but it's very hard to tell. So it was on clearance for Christmas and I definitely picked it up and it's super cute. So coming out of the kitchen, you have my room on the left and then the laundry room right here. I'm not gonna do a laundry room tour because I literally just did one like two weeks ago and I will link that video. But here's just a quick overview. A room kind of tour, but not super in depth. My room does not have a theme. It's kind of sad, but I just, I don't know. I'm kind of like at the point where I really don't care. I just sleep in here. So to your left, I have this little stand. I think it's from Ikea. I just keep some photo, oh, a photo, a globe, snow globe, my heater. And then in this bin, I keep extra binders and stuff. And then down there is just a little like cat bed thing. This is the room to my bathroom, which I'll get to in a second. That's just stuff I need to put away. This is my dresser. This is from Ikea. I've had it forever, so it's pretty beat up, but it does the job. My humidifier, a cup for my humidifier, my Amazon Alexa, my everyday products, a lint roller, and then a calendar. I'm not gonna go like in depth in my stuff but if you guys are curious about a tour of my room and my drawers and everything let me know the end table which this end table is actually from ikea no i lied it's not from ikea it's from the container store it was on clearance i feel like i said that about everything in my house but that's how i shop i shop for clearance things so this is like a three tier or three sh pull out shelf one and again i'm not gonna go in depth but i'm just gonna show you kind of like what it looks like I love these. It, they don't match. I have this brown and silver one, and then I have a white one over there, but I don't really care. I just have my lamp, some, my jewelry organizer, that purple thing. This cute little doggy that my boyfriend got me. Some water wipes, because I'm always blowing my nose at night. Some candies in here for Breeze and my phone. Here's my bed. It is a full size, yes, full size. I got this blanket was a gift for my boyfriend. Those two front pillows were from at home. I know my sheets don't match my pillowcases, but again, I really don't care. I got this little bench and my headboard um, on Facebook Marketplace and they were super cheap and they go together, so that's great. I just keep extra blankets. Like I said, I have a ton of blankets, so I don't have enough room to store them. I should probably like store them under my bed or something. There's my other nightstand. It's the same kind, just a different color. And I just keep more water wipes, a lava lamp, a candle, my laptop, my like to-do list journal. And then my phone is usually actually over here. And then above that is a picture of my doggy. He's so cute. My window, I have my laundry basket in front of my window, which doesn't match but I'm just too cheap to buy another one. I have this bookshelf, which holds a whole bunch of randomness. I have some things I need to hang, some spring decor, my nail polish. I have this other bookshelf, which actually holds books, as well as a little bit of decor, and then my fan and my little piggy bank. So my closet. Cat wants to give you the tour, apparently. So this is just a quick overview. If you're more curious about everything, I will link my master closet reorganization video up top. Going into my bathroom. So I share this with guests, so that's why there's another door. So that's the other door, but this is what you see. My cat, my cat, my cat is following me. This is what you see when you walk in. So I have my shower slash bathtub over here. Obviously my toilet, so interesting. Just some randomness. Don't ask me why I have stick, non-stick cooking spray. Okay, it's a long story. Toilet paper's up here because I lost the little thing. Again, a long story. The overview, again, if you want a whole separate video on how I organize my bathroom, let me know. 
This is where I keep like most of our first aid. And then I have this rolling three tier rack, whatever it's called for more storage. It's gonna be the end of the tour guys. Anything that I mentioned, I will try and link down below as well as any of the videos I mentioned, I will link down below. If you guys want a kitchen tour, a bathroom tour or a room tour, definitely let me know and I will film one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more tours as well as cleaning and organization videos, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.